So here we have a combination reaction. We have F2 plus Cl2. It's combining to form the ClF3. That's chlorine trifluoride. It's also called a synthesis reaction. So to balance it, let's count the atoms up on each side. On the reactant side of the equation, we have two fluorine atoms and then two chlorine atoms. On the product side, we have three of the fluorines and just one of the chlorine atoms. Often when we have this odd number, it's helpful to get this to an even number. It makes the balancing a lot easier. So if we put a two as our coefficient, this two, it'll apply to the whole molecule. So three times two, that'll give us six. And then one times two, that'll give us two. So the chlorines, those are balanced. We have six fluorine atoms and two here. That's pretty easy to fix though. This fluorine's by itself. So if we put a coefficient of three in front of the F2, two times three, that'll give us six. So now we have six fluorines on each side and then two chlorines. So this equation, it's balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for F2 plus Cl2. That's fluorine gas plus chlorine gas giving us chlorine trifluoride. Thanks for watching.